So just one day after iPadOS 16 is officially available to everyone, iPadOS 16.2 beta was just released. And in the video that I made about the iPadOS uh, five best features for iPadOS 16, um, which we just put out earlier, by the way, so if you wanna check that out, you can click the link here in the upper right corner. Uh, we talked about the free format being one of the best new features, or at least we anticipate it being a great new feature, but it wasn't available until now, which 16.2, the new beta, actually has the Freeform app available. And so in this video, we're gonna go ahead and just check it out. Now, I have not once opened this app. This is going to be the first time we're gonna do this together. It's going to be a, uh, you know, a live experience. Just you and me experiencing the Freeform app together. I have no idea what this app can do. Uh, besides what Apple advertised at uh, WWDC about like, I don't know, four or five months ago. So here it is, it's automatically installed on my desktop and I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up and you get a welcome prompt here. And so the first three things that Apple lists is to get creative. You can sketch out a project, design a mood board, brainstorm ideas, and so much more. You can build your board by adding media, files, links, text, and more anywhere on your board to kind of get a creative space going here. And then you can collaborate with others. And one of the cool things that I've pointed out in other videos and Apple's pointed out in some of the press releases and images is that you can actually have a FaceTime call with others while looking at your freeform board. So let's go ahead and hit continue. And as you can see, there's really not a whole lot to it. You know, this is your board and I can zoom in, I can zoom out. And up at the top here, you have a little toolbar. So if I click on it, I'm guessing this is gonna bring up the Apple Pencil palette here of your different writing utensils and your different colors and all of that. And then the next one is to add a sticky note, which is pretty cool. And you can resize that sticky note and double tap to enter text. This is a sticky note. And then let's see if we click here, I'm guessing this is all the shapes and stuff. Um, I missed it there. Yeah, so you can add in shapes. Here's a circle, you know, this is how you can start creating your board. This is gonna be really cool for people who work like this in an environment where you guys can be a little bit more collaborative. And if you wanted to kind of make a mood board or a mind map of some of the upcoming projects you might have uh, in your group and you know, you got a block here and you wanna point it out to something else. So let's get a little arrow here. It's, it's all very intuitive. I'm gonna have it point to this sticky note. And then here you can kind of draw what your team's like outline or roadmap's gonna be for whatever project you guys might have going on. And then up here we have this little symbol here, guessing it's to add text, which it is. So you double tap, you can add text. If you have a magic keyboard attached to it, it's gonna be a lot easier to type out whatever it is you need to type out. And then the next one is, I'm guessing, adding photos. So you can do it uh, from your camera roll, you can take a picture, you can scan, you can add a link from Safari or you can insert from your files. So let's go ahead and insert a photo. So I'm going to pick the first thing that I see here. So here is a picture of some trees. So we got that there. I can put it right there and it kind of all, the cool thing here is everything seems to kind of have a grid in which you can line things up and make it look nice. So as you see, I move this photo around, If I put that there and then I move this thing here. You can see it kind of snap, you can feel it snap into place and you can also, again, see it kind of snap whatever object you might bring in to place and you can have things look nice and neat if you want to and it doesn't have to be so scatterbrained. Um, and then that, you know, there was other cool thing that was here is that you can add a link from Safari. So let's go www.macrumors.com, insert, and then look, there's a link. I mean, this is basically Apple's first party version of any of those mind maps and, and collaborative apps that you've seen out there. And I can see a lot of people having a great time with it. So then where things get even more interesting is where here in the top right corner, you have a couple of other options, one being your share sheet option. And so document has not synced yet. Please wait before attempting to share. This is what happens when we do things live. You know, I'm just kind of going with it. And it is a beta, so there's gonna be some weird things here. And one thing that would be really cool for people is that you can get on a FaceTime call and you guys can collaborate in real time and kind of look at the, sh uh, the board together and, you know, add things together and work together. That's kind of the whole point of this app. Uh, but of course, it's not working right at this moment in time. So that's pretty cool. 
So if we back out into the like main part of this app here, the first level, you have your sidebar, which will show you all of your boards, your recent boards, your shared boards, and your favorite boards. So you know, a little way to get organized here. And of course, you can search for whatever text you might be. I'm guessing if I type in trees, it'll know that Yes, so obviously it is contextually aware of what's happening in your boards and when you search for things, it should be able to find um, you know, what it is you're looking for and narrow it down for you. If I type in YouTube, it knows that I put a YouTube link in there. And so yeah, pretty cool. Um, another important part of this is the Apple Pencil. And so you know, if I take the Apple Pencil, I can immediately start drawing or writing whatever it is. And that's where you know a lot of that collaborative effort is gonna come in if someone was taking meeting notes. And you can kind of have that hybrid of writing your handwritten notes and then you know all of these other extra features that are baked in here. Now down here at the bottom, most of these writing tools look familiar except for this one, which I'm pretty sure is a highlighter, but it's gonna work not like this, but because as you can see, it just kind of makes a line, but it's more of like a, box selector and then it highlights, which is interesting. And this is kind of where, you know, you get that look that Apple shows off in a lot of its um, uh, press releases or press images for Freeform. So if I wanted to make things look extra interesting when I write it out for people, I can write Freeform, my handwriting is atrocious. And then I can do a cool little highlighted, you know, header section here. Let's pick a random color. Let's go, I don't know. Black, well, just, and then yeah. So it highlights it for you, pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna personally use this right now, but I want to use it, and so I really like it. Seems to be working okay so far, but I do like the possibility and you know endless ideas that you can kind of come up with all in this app. And um, it'll be interesting to see how other Apple first party apps, you know, maybe something like notes and reminders can play into Freeform in the future. Is there a way to get like a board going where you can add some tasks and maybe some link backs to notes, uh, you know, that you might have typed up? Um, can this replace notes? You know, these are all the things that I'm curious about, but I would love to know from you what you're curious about in the comments down below. Is this something that you think you're gonna be using uh, quite a bit here in the future once it's officially released later this year? I wanna know in the comments down below. And for those of you who are wondering what else is out in 16.2, it seems that one of the only other biggest things that we um, got back is the ability for M1 and M2 iPad Pros to use an external monitor. So the external monitor support uh, or the external display support Support is now back. Uh, that was removed after a few betas. It just didn't work very well. I have not had a chance to test it yet, but that is back and I will give it another go and see how well it works. But yeah, be sure to let me know in the comments down below again what you think of iPadOS just in general. And then of course the new beta with uh, the return of the th um, external monitor support and of course the Freeform app. This has been Now with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.